Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're gonna slay another lace wig. As we always start with my natural hair, as you guys can see, it's itchy. It's been about two, maybe three weeks since I've washed it. But off camera, I went ahead and I cornrowed it into two little cornrows, which is my everyday normal protective style. So here's the wig at hand. This one comes from a company by the name of Neflion. I've definitely worked with this company a few times. Off camera, I went ahead and co-washed the wig and it's still pretty wet. So I'm going to just pretty much damp dry it or towel dry it rather with a towel and then apply it right away. Now this is what it looks like when you first put it on. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I don't know if I've made a good choice with this one. Maybe it's too short. Maybe it's not for me. You know, I got a little double chin going. Maybe my, my, my chin ain't chiseled enough to pull this one off. But as you're seeing from the uh, pictures and you'll see in just a few minutes, I'm definitely going to slay this one to the best of my ability. So this is what it looks like in a center part. Definitely not going to be rocking a center part. If you click on the link in the description box, you'll see they have it styled as a side part and that's exactly what I went with so here I'm just deciding which side would look better and feel better to me um, I ended up going with my right side which appears as my left side or to you guys is the left side and you know just went ahead and started to slay So now it's time to slay our wig. As you guys can see, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the wig before I cut off that excess lace. Be sure to prep as much as you can. I would highly recommend doing this on a wig head. For me, I'm just so used to doing it this way that, you know, this is what I'm gonna do today. And I'm pretty much just taking a nice, sharp pair of tweezers. I'll have the ones I love in the description box. And I'm pretty much just opening up that very, very beginning, that very, very front, like pretty much the hairline. If you want a nice, gradient effect i would recommend doing this and then taking and parting out all of that baby hair area and then tweezing again like behind the hairline and then maybe even parting out a small another section and going behind that again this will give you more of a gradient effect if you really really want to slay for the gram but you know for me this is pretty much all i need and you'll see once i go ahead and finish styling the wig for the style and the baby hair that i did this pretty much worked out perfect so this is pretty much all the prep I need before cutting off the excess lace. You can go in and, you know, press it out or, you know, bleach it, tint the lace. All those things that you would typically do before cutting off the lace, I would recommend doing before you cut off the lace. For me, I'm not going to go ahead and tint the lace. I'm just going to add powder at the very end. And this is pretty much the simple, easy, you know, creature of habit way of doing things. If you do have a lace tint, Again, that is a great way to make sure that the wig is unclockable and that it matches your complexion very nicely. You can also go in with like a foundation powder and just apply it to the like very front baby hair section of your wig. Just fold it inside out and then apply that, you know, like liquid foundation or powder foundation to the very hairline. And that's going to help to not have any white areas. Like I said before, I'm going to do it at the end. If you're following along, my next step is just pretty much to bond the wig down. I'm using the bed head spray that I've been using for a while now, and I just like to play, play, apply a nice thick layer. I just go in and I just apply it to the hairline directly. I chase it with the rag so that it doesn't like drip and fall down my face, and it just stays exactly where I want it to go. And I kind of just coat it until I feel like it's thick enough. You will want to let that get tacky and then apply the lace directly on top. Now, one thing I recommend highly is if you're going to bond a wig down, no matter what you're doing, use a blow dryer. Mine happens to be a Dyson. I love this thing. I was gifted, uh, you know, this item from my hubby for Christmas. And again, I would buy it over and over and over and over again. I love it. Now the wig is bonded down on one side. We're going to bond down the opposite side and then begin to style the wig. Thank you. 
one thing that is just as important as bonding the wig down is cleaning up your work i like to use alcohol if there's something that you can recommend that is not as invasive or harsh on the skin please let me know but so far you know the alcohol has worked fine for me i do use shea butter on my skin daily so you know i go after that with a little soap and water when i take a shower i moisturize my skin i cleanse my skin daily so so I'm just throwing it out there just because I know there are a lot of people who do not like to use the uh, alcohol on the hairline, but it definitely does a great job for me at helping to uh, clean up my work whenever I apply an adhesive. And again, the adhesive I use is not a glue, it's just a holding spray. So here we are, as I said before, I opted for a side part and it's going to look so cute when we're done. I did go in and add a little bit of baby hair. I have been watching some tutorials and just getting familiar with baby hair in just different styles. I know you get tired of seeing the same old, same old, so I will be switching it up in every video. I'll be trying to do a different hairstyle, uh, you know, color high ponytails, high buns, swoops this way, swoops that way. I'm gonna switch it up for you guys and give you some videos that are super fun, uh, you know, and informational coming up. But for today, I just went with my typical, you know, swoops all the way around and kind of just finessed in front of the opposite side or where that swoop is gonna sit, simply because I, don't, I didn't want that harsh line of demarcation where it shows where the lace starts. And that's all about preference. If you do not want any baby hair, just, you know, comb or brush it back super nice. You can add a little wax to the very front and it'll look super good. Now I'm just stamping out that parting space. I want it to look nice and flawless and not be too puffy or fluffy, so I did use a little bit of heat. At this point, the wig is probably about 80% dry and that looks super good. Now I'm gonna fluff it out and pretty much use mousse to style it and I absolutely love the way it came out. I love that little highlight in the front. It's just enough that, you know, adds a little fun color without being too much or too distasteful. As I mentioned before, this is kinky curly hair and it honestly doesn't feel too kinky, um, but I do like the way it comes out. When I do B-roll at the end, you'll see how nice and defined the curls are, how soft and beautiful and natural they look. As I mentioned before, this one does come in a natural color if you don't want the highlight and the density is 150.
So next step is super important. The parting was not super defined as I would like it to be. So I kind of finessed that with a little bit of concealer. This one here is the Fenty. I love the Fenty and how it uh, pretty much defines my parting in most wigs and it looks really good and it, you know, matches my complexion or not even matches, it just complements my complexion so well. Be sure to press that in so it's just not sitting on top. You kind of want to blend it out so it just looks good and natural and not just like a glob of, you know, cream product on top. Now we're going to primp and finesse and that's pretty much it. Make sure that you go ahead and add something to the hairline if the lace does not match your complexion. As I mentioned before, a lace tint will come in handy for this at the beginning as one of the first steps you'll do. If not, you can add a foundation, liquid foundation or a powder foundation underneath the lace before you install it and so that part would look super smooth. If you do add the foundation to the inside of your wig, be sure to only add it to the hairline. Typically the hairline and the parting are two separate entities when it comes to an install and your hairline and the color that it comes out in your parting probably will want to be two colors because in the past I've found that whatever foundation I put on the hairline may be too red for the party. So again, this one came from Nifflyon. I hope you guys loved it. A link to it is in the description box. It's absolutely gorgeous. As I said before, I kind of crimped and finessed it with a little bit of mousse and that worked amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn your post notifications on. There is a flash wig sale coming up on this Sunday, so be sure to stay tuned for a, det a detailed video that will be coming up later today. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!